30 years ago, NASA launched into a new era of high bandwidth continuous space communication with the tracking and data relay satellite, TDRS. Today, NASA is continuing this legacy by launching the first of the next generation of satellites, TDRS K. At Cape Canaveral, the TDRS K spacecraft sits atop an Atlas V rocket ready for launch. Two, one, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket carrying the next generation and tracking and data relay satellites, TDRS-K. After a four minute burn, the Atlas V main engine separates from the Centaur engine and drops back to Earth. Shortly after separation of the main engine, the protective shield that covers the payload, called the fairing, separates to reveal the TDRS-K spacecraft. After boosting the spacecraft to geosynchronous transfer orbit, the Tidra spacecraft separates from the Centaur engine. Shortly after this separation, the two folded single axis antenna reflectors are released to take their natural parabolic shape. Once arriving in geosynchronous orbit, the spacecraft starts its deployment sequence by unfolding the first solar array. Next, the two single axis antennas are deployed and locked into position. These antennas are designed to track and communicate with low Earth orbit satellites. After the single access antennas are secured into place, the second solar array starts to unfold, and the SGL and Omni antennas are deployed. Once TDRS K completes this deployment sequence, it's now ready for a three month period of testing and calibration before being placed into service. With this edition of TDRS K and the upcoming launches of TDRS L and M, NASA has assured the future of continuous space to ground communication. <laughs>